I thought we'd play a little game. I used to write a column called Cheers and Jeers, where I had to say some good things and some bad things that happened every week. And so yeah, many of you have hinted at some of the good aspects of an ESOP, but I thought we'd force you all to say maybe two, one or two things that were positive that you didn't expect beyond preventing hostile takeovers or getting a clear succession. And then one thing that maybe didn't go as well or is still a little bit more of a struggle uh, with the ESOP. Um, well, I hate to turn to you first, but you're right here, so yeah. we'll go back to you. <laughs> yeah, so um, just the, uh, the unexpected pleasures were the kind of the funny things that came up from the employees that were related to being um, shareholders. So um, kind of coming up with the idea of when you earn rights to the stock that's in your ESOP over time, they call that vesting. And it was a really big deal that everybody actually got a vest when they were fully vested. So there were <laughs> King Arthur vests worn very proudly and everybody knew when I get to be here seven years and I have control over all the stock that's in my account, I get a vest. Um, negatives weren't many. I, I, I think the, the only one was early days. It, was, it, it wasn't understood as well. You know, it was, it was kind of a, it's on a piece of paper. They're talking about this. And it was really just over time and when people retired and took a significant value with them that it made sense. But early days, it was a little... A little bit of an unknown. I love that vest example. Did it help with employee retention? It sounds like <laughs> if uh, you, you want to stay for your vest. That's right. Least. That's you can right. change They're colors every One of the few things. Years. Yep. Yep. 